and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today I am doing a few things around the kitchen just to make things look nicer. We redid our whole first floor about two years ago. I actually have a few vlogs that I did while we were doing the whole process, so I'll make sure to have those linked. I feel like when we first redid it, we had no idea how we were gonna fill all of the cabinets and drawers. And now here we are two years later, wondering where all of that space went. So I think the biggest issue is that we're just not using the spaces we have wisely. So I wanted to make sure to go to some areas that I know that we can fix pretty quickly, pretty easily, and just make things a little bit more organized, clear out some things, just allow us to have more space and for things to just look nicer and more appealing. We still love our kitchen and I just wanna bring some of that excitement back into it. The two areas that I wanna tackle first are the spices and where we store our coffee. So with our spices, we actually have three rows and I really just wanna consolidate things. I would like the first row just to be the spices that we are going to often. I would like the second to be more of an overflow space. And then on the bottom is actually where I keep all of the sweet stuff. I had one time where I mixed up the cinnamon and the cumin and that obviously just ruined the recipe that I was following. So I really focus on keeping all of the sweet stuff in one separate area away from all of the other things. The second and the third shelves are definitely not going to be as organized as the first. I'm gonna tackle the first and then from there, I will figure out what I wanna do. But at least for this video, I just want that top shelf looking nice. I actually ordered all of the things to transfer my spices many months ago and I just haven't taken the time to do it. So I'm really excited to finally get this done. It comes with a funnel and it also has the spice jar. There are 24 spice jars. And then it has different labels. It has these chalkboard labels as it calls them, which are black with white writing. And it also has these clear ones, but I'm not going to be using these. I actually am going to make some labels on my Cricut. Hopefully that goes well, because I'm really excited to just come up with something on my own and just have something a little different. I have finished labeling all of the jars. The only ones that I still have to do are these two. They were very specific, so I didn't have a sticker for these ones, so I'll just have to make them. It came with these blank ones. I just wanna take the time to actually make it with my Cricut so that they will look very similar to these ones. I don't want them to be completely different. So I will save this for another time.
the amount that I made fit perfectly. So I was able to fit 20 of them in here. This is the everything but the bagel seasoning and back there is the sriracha blend that I have. I already know what those are. I put the sriracha blend in the back because we don't really use it that much. So I'll always know this is the everything but the bagel. But from the side, you're also able to see what the different spices are. So I really like that. The other area that I want to do is where we store all of our Nespresso pods. We got our Nespresso a few months ago. I don't actually like coffee, but I do like espresso. So it was something that we decided to get before baby girl came, and I am so glad we did because there are many days where I absolutely just need the extra caffeine. If you keep hearing a little tapping sound, that is my dog walking around. I swear she can't stay still. So right now we just keep them all in the boxes in one of the cabinets, and I think that it's just an absolute waste of space. We have a drawer that we keep tea in, and then nothing else. There's literally nothing else in that drawer. So I would like to move all of the Nespresso pods into that drawer so that things are just all in one area. That's actually right underneath where the machine is anyway, so it does make the most sense. So I have these drawer organizers, and it actually took me a little while to find this size because our cabinets that are back here are not as deep. So it's not a standard size drawer and I had to find ones that were pretty small. Originally, I bought acrylic to just put all of the pods in, and I didn't really care for it, so I'm doing the bamboo, and I think this is gonna look really nice. So this is what the drawer looks like now. I started with the 230 milliliter, and then from there I moved down to the 80 milliliter. And these last ones are mostly the 40 milliliter. And then I have the extra space there for when we get more, which I know we will. And over here I have our tea. I love this little container for separating them. And these ones were more loose, so I kept them in the original packaging, just like I kept these ones. And then these ones here are fully loose teas. We haven't really been making coffee very often, but I still put that back there. And these are the coasters that we got as a free gift when we got our Nespresso pods. But I'm really excited with how this turned out and I look forward to getting some more to fill in that space. I'm so happy with how all of this turned out and there are definitely many more areas in this kitchen that I wanna tackle. So make sure you are subscribed so you can see how I organize the rest of our kitchen and just get this place back in order. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.